<laughs> oh my god. Make the stop. This is hell. Please stop. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Subnarka with myself, Hollow. Today I would love to do a tiny bit more, a little bit of base improvement. We have this third tower now, the third base building here, with our first filtration machine on this save. But, as good as that is, I would like to have more than one. Looks like it's just finished. Let's make some salt. We nearly have the first water. Now, I did say last time, what if we could have four of these in this one room? It'd be awesome to generate that much water. But then I thought, wait, what about the issue I'm having here where this is great, it's so useful, but it's in the way as hell. What if I could move this somewhere better? And I was thinking about, mm, I'm gonna need its own, it needs its own room, actually. Maybe if we had a room dedicated to just these like food generating hanging fruit plants. What if that's what I did instead? And then I thought, well, okay, we'll build we'll build a new room. But, uh, and I was thinking about, okay, what am I going to do with the room? It says I guess we'll fill it with filtration machines. And I just thought, why don't we just do half and half? Let's have two filtration machines. So I'll get the titanium for that right now. Um, and why don't we have a bunch of those plant pots as well? Actually, let's get it out of the right one. It's not as full. There we go. I might need slightly more than that. We'll just grab a couple more. There we go. So what if I actually build both? You know, have the best of both worlds. So if I build a second filtration machine, it's, it's crazy to me that this is just, you know, two titanium. <laughs> it looks like it would use a lot more than that. Like, fuck, there's a lot of pipes and shit going on here. Isn't, wouldn't glass be relevant? It wouldn't, I don't know, silicone be relevant? There's, there's like pipes and, 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 and glass and obviously titanium here, but... I, and I feel like something else, maybe, like lithium. Fuck, these... I mean, I, I don't really want them to make it harder to make these, but, like, at the same time, I just feel like, hmm, maybe these should... Maybe these should be, I don't know, not as easy to make. You know what I mean? Anyway, um, let's go ahead and make our indoor plantation things. So we have the indoor grow bread. Go, go, grow bread, guys. You got the indoor grow bread. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna put a few of them down, and... I guess it's going to be two on each side, is what I can fit. Looks okay, that. Whoops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Inventory, please. Please calm down. Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't bugged. Yeah, and then we do the exact same thing on the other side. And then what we can do up here is build some windows. Just to give it a bit more life in this uh, room. And we'll be able to see... Stop. We'll be able to see in here all of the plants and stuff. It'd be nice. Okay. And we have... Uh, that, okay, awesome. I will need a little bit of glass, so that'll be... Actually, we have one glass left over. We might have a couple of glass left over. Awesome, we do. One, two, three, four. Because I want four windows. I need to make sure that the actual structure is safe to do this before I go overboard with it. So we'll make one window and see what damage it does. And then we'll put up some living walls because it's just one titanium. Just to add a little bit more life in here. We can put plant pots and stuff in here when, when we want. And there you have it. Two filtration machines. A nice view outside that we can look out into if we want to. And what does it look like from the outside? Because I was just considering just then. What if it looks dumb? It looks fine, actually. I like the green on the bottom floor. And you can see the green on the walls. You can see the filtration machines. It looks fine. I was thinking about repositioning the windows. But no, it looks fine. I think that's fine. So what we need to do now is plant all of the stuff that we have. And honestly, I'm thinking just hanging fruit. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You know, that we have the other plant that we could do. But why not just eat hanging fruit? Why don't we just only eat hanging fruit? Because it's just going to generate fuck tons more than the other plant. Okay, so they all have two each now. So, the, you know, this is the other one I was considering, the purple vegetable, which is fine, but I think it only generates roughly five, four or five vegetables. This generates, like, fucking tons of hanging fruit. So why don't we just use this instead? I have no idea if this will generate more hanging fruit. Let's say I take every last bit of hanging fruit off this, and there's no more hanging fruit on it. Will that still allow me to grow more on that, or will I need to replant a new tree? I'm wondering. So the question really is, 
Will this grow more hanging fruit? Now that I picked it almost clean, will it will it grow more? So let's just quickly check. One, two, three hanging fruit remain. We're going to leave those. I'm going to see if we find any more on that tree later. But I think maybe it will. But at the end of the day, we do want to get rid of this planter anyway. Because it's just in the way. Like we're, That's the point of us doing this. To get rid of it. Uh, and fix this stupid bug with the pink flower and get rid of that. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll work out whether it will grow more than three, and we'll see in the future. Now in terms of main objective of today's episode, I would like to increase the Hall of Memories a little bit. We have a, another screenshot I can use. I'm aware that we have another screenshot we can use. At least one, maybe two. And there's a biome that I've been wanting to go to for a while. And I, would say, I said that I would go there quite some time ago. In the previous save, in fact. But the reason I never went really wasn't, you know, anything to do with just fucking forgetting. I just had so much to do. And now I'm finally making myself go there. We're going to go to that, like, pink flower jelly stuff. It's basically a biome of weird flowers in a cave under the blood grass biome. And people were saying, go check it out, go check it out. People have been desperate for me to go there. So today, we're finally going to go there. So after a quick repair, I'm going to go ahead and see if we can't find it. And in fact, oh, wow, I may have just found it instant, literally instantly. The base is right there. I just set off. Are you kidding me? That looks like it goes down pretty deep, guys. Wow, did I really find it within a millisecond of fucking... You gotta be kidding me. Caution. Whoops. Safe depth. Wow. Looks like I did. Although this looks a little bit different. I'm not sure. Oh, there's a base down here, guys. There's a fucking base down here. Oh my god. It looks different to the one we found in the other save, though. Look at those flowers. Okay, I can't go any deeper. God damn, though. Look at that. Okay, let me just take a screenshot. F6. F6. Should we get closer? Oh, they look so weird, don't they? I want them to be these two, the glowy ones, to be the centerpiece. I know there's more on the side, but... It looks like jelly. Oh, you know what it looks like? Uh, there we go. And we'll get a second one just in case. There you go. Um, it looks like... Well, jelly, I guess. But it looks like um, a jellyfish. But in a, like the way the texture of the flower looks, it looks like a jellyfish. But in the shape of a flower. Anyway, what's going on with this base here? Uh, it's bugged the fuck out. There we go. Guess I'll keep the scanner out. Is this where they went? They had a fabricator and a workbench. I'm gonna drown. Whoa. Those peepers look fucking creepy. And of course, it's nighttime now. Bastard. Now remember, last time, we found out that there was three survivors. A man and his son, and a mercenary of some kind that was uh, their bodyguard, who seemed to be not necessarily the most logical person. Why I say that is because she just lost her, like, lover, apparently. Anyway, look at these things. Oh, those are not peepers. Oculus. The Oculus Rift. We found it. We found an Oculus Rift. I want more of these. The fuck? They look like peepers with, like... They look like evolved peepers or something like that. Okay, can you stop bugging out? Okay. Right. Oh, these windows look really cool. I'd love to have that. Can I scan that? We've got reinforcements. We've got a locker. Bench. Is that it? No way. There's like no no story here. No, no information. Really? Maybe I'd be able to scan the things that are down there. Look, there's an observatory. There's, you know, the workshop. There's a bunch of things there that seem useful. But I've unlocked all of them. I know all of them now. Maybe if I'd come down here before going out and, like, scanning all of the fragments that took time and was annoying to do, maybe 
maybe I would have been able to come to this and scan them and save myself some time. But let's think about it law-wise. Why would they come down here? Man and his son, they seem logical. They're the ones who came up with the farms and stuff. Keeping them alive. Then you got the mercenary who's unsettled and said, we need to go to the water, and they agree. I'd love to scan these, like, windows, though, but I'm not able to. They look like they're special that I could use as a different building type. Anyway, um... Okay, so they come here. Why didn't they just build... Like, they wanted to build underwater. I get that. But why here? Why specifically all the way down here with such high pressure? At the end of the day, this high pressure would breed tougher fish. So th that's why we're in the shallows. That's why we live in the shallows. I want to explore this place more. There must be more to it. Can you go in there? I'm thinking there must be more to this place. You can go in. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. Oh, whoa. You can actually... You can actually get them to grow them. These, like, giant... Things. You can grow them. Wow. Wow. Okay, we'll get one more. That's cool. It's weird that you can go in them. It's sort of like unsettling to go into that for whatever reason. It's because I think it's like a jellyfish and maybe if I, maybe if I touch it, it'll hurt me. I don't want to get trapped down here. I wonder if there's any like unique resources that I could get from mining this place. If you guys know of any, let me know. I don't think I'm going to risk it or waste my time doing that. God, it's beautiful, though. So we found an abandoned base, but there was nothing there. So there's really two things there. There's more story to be found down here by exploring it, which is what I'm trying to do. Or maybe it's just not in-game yet, which would be obviously the worst result. I have to really stay high up. Yeah, see... Fucking annoying. Oh, we have an underground volcano here. What is that? The fuck is that thing? Oh, what? It's like a worm. Did it just go into the flower? Oh, no way. Get the fuck out of here. That's what... <gasps> it's a grown one of these, isn't it? It looked like it. It was red and, like, thin. And these little guys are trying to bite me. They're trying to eat me. If those are the adult versions of those nippers... I'm in the wrong fucking place. But I have to find out. They're going into the flowers. They live in the flowers. This is where the nippers come from. Oh, God. Oh, God. Do I really want to go near that after the sound it just made? Look at this place, man! Fuck it. F6, F6, F6. F11. I want screenshots. Bang. That is beautiful. That's the most risky thing I ever fucking did. Alright, go on. I want one to attack me. I want to see what it does. Is there a unique animation or will it just go for me? It makes a scary sound. I know you're in there. No, you I see you fucking face. You can't see me. Bitch. That's unnecessarily rude. What the fuck? I'm hiding. You can't see me. Hello? Oh, God. Yeah, Holy go. shit. Oh, my oh, God. Oh. They poke. Yeah, oh, God. Oh, oh. Yeah, <laughs> Now you're ah! really fucked up. Go away! Now you're really oh, you're disgusting! Get you fucking fuck you, you bitch! That's right, I got a headbutt. I fucking headbutt you, fucking bitch. bitch! Fuck you! Really hard. Ah! Okay, I'm out, I'm out, I'm going home. Okay. Alright, so the reinforcement served me well there. It doesn't really do much damage to Seamoth, but it definitely does damage. I need to get the fuck out of here. 
That was really cool. But scary as fuck. Okay, let's plant some of those jelly seed things. I want to see how it looks. I think they'll be a little bit smaller. I assume. Okay, here we go. The snake mushroom spore. Put four of those down here. Two of them in this one. And then these are filled. Look at them. They're like absolutely tiny right now while they're on 1%. But yeah, they look like the little the, the flowers. They're going to look cool when they're big. Let's go quickly check on... Let's go quickly check on what we got going on with the food and water room. See how that's doing. I was worried that the filtration machines might take up like too much power. But we seem to be doing okay. So we can expand the Hall of Memories now, which is great. Ooh, look at this. Oh, that satisfying sound is back, guys. Oh, yee. We have the Oculus as well, don't forget. We got the Oculus. That was a worthy trip. A screenshot, new information, found the base. But nothing to do with it. Maybe I missed something. Let me know if I did. Okay. Drop some Oculus in here. Watch them be like predators and they just eat everything else. God, look how busy that is. Look how busy that is. We need to start eating some of these guys. We need to start eating some of them. Okay. Um, okay, so this had three. It now has one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. It keeps growing more. Great result, guys. Great result. They consistently grow more. It's just permanent food. Amazing. Once this is all settled and grown, it's on 85%, roughly, 86%. Once it's all grown, we'll just get rid of this plant pot and it'll build some. It'll basically give us space again. So, while we're here, why don't we grab some of that mag. I don't know what it was called, and see what we can do with that. People were saying you need to get it for like a compass, maybe, and stuff like that. So, let's find out. Here it is. It's called magnetite. Magnetite. Or teat. <laughs> I should call it tight. <laughs> I'm gonna get all of them. Um, I don't really know how much I'm gonna need or what I'm even trying to build. I've instantly found it. It's the compass. It requires the magicite. So, uh, I just need a compute chip to go with it. And we're gonna make ourselves a compass, which will be very useful. The compass. So, we have the heat hint thing here. And now, how does the compass work? Oh, look. Right, look. So I've got a thermometer in one, and I've got the signal in the other. We take the signal out, and we put it in, and there we go. Yeah, look, the compass just under the, the depth and power. That's really useful, guys. Very fucking powerful tool. You know, I've been able to naturally navigate around the world, but that just makes it so much easier. And I'll know the information to be true now. I won't be guessing. That's really fucking convenient. Yeah, the Seamoth torpedo system. So this is how you unlock the Seamoth torpedoes. A standard underwater payload delivery system adapted to fire non-lethal vortex torpedoes. What? It fires vortexes? What the fuck? I need another computer chip. I'm making that immediately. What's it look like? Just looks like a little... Oh, it's an upgrade. Let's take this uh, upgrade out then. So we'll take the locker out because the other ones are very valuable. Um, and then we'll put the uh, new one in. Torpedo system. I don't see anything. Oh, no, no. Right here, right here. The seam off torpedo bay. And that's how you load it up. We already have two, actually, but we can put in another two. So that should be a little bit of titanium. Not that bad. Because if you don't remember last save, we actually did do this. We made some torpedoes, but we had no reason for it. You get free torpedoes for two titanium. It's insane. This is so cheap. So they take up four slots. These take up a lot of slots themselves. So now it's loaded. So we're getting the seam off. And you press two. Okay. Awesome. And we'll find a target, I guess. Whoa! Holy shit! Whoa! What the fuck, dude? Ha! What? Are you shitting me? Oh my god, that's insane! Does that shit work on, like, real, like, big creatures? Oh my god, it does. 
it shot him over there. It sucked him in and shot him over there. Oh my god, look at them. Can I go in it? I want to go in. I want to ride. Oh, <laughs> I don't think it works on me. Oh my god. Okay, we have to try that on a bigger... We have to try that on, like, a, a reef back or something. Is that... Oh my god. Look! I have to try it. Don't be mad, guys. Um... Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh no, it is being pulled into it. It went down. It went in. It's in it. It got pulled into it. It technically held it there. It just didn't send it round in circles like it would everything else. That is absolutely fucking insane, dude. That is insanely strong. I know it's non-lethal. One day it would be nice to have like a weapon. I'm not sure they'll ever do that though. But... Oh, God, I can't believe how fucking strong that is. How is the room of food and hydration going? It is doing great. Oh my God, look at this room. Oh my God, this feels so fucking powerful. Like my, my hunger and hydration issue is just gone. It's just gone. It, this is so good. This is, this was such a good idea, dude. This was such a good idea. Let's look at it from the outside, shall we? Oh, man, such great base improvements today. Oh, God, yeah, look at that. Okay, come on, come on, we gotta go look at them. It's glowing over here. Oh, it's the seed clusters. They make it glow at night. Oh, that's so nice. Holy shit, guys. We're doing so well. And here they are, here they are, here they are. They are tiny. Look at them, they're adorable. Oh, 64%. They're not done yet, but they're growing. They're growing. Maybe they'll be the same size as the pygmy kush. They look really nice. Oh my goodness. So fucking proud. We can do some really cool stuff with that. I plan to make the base look really nice around the area. We've got more to do. I've got more plans. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We're going to end it by improving and increasing the size of the Hall of Memories. So I just made a few copper wires here. We got four, so we can put down four more of these lovely, lovely picture frames. Okay, so we can get two on this wall as well. Awesome. Okay, so let's see what pictures we actually have. We have a few now. So I'd say this left one, 100%. That's got to be one that we use. Uh, what about on here? This one, I love that one. With all the fish and everything we took that last time. Yes. Oh my god, yes. Uh, what else can we do? Is that everything we have? It might be. Actually, no. We can put this one on. Kind of nice. The under of the island. I guess it's the base. It's too dark. We should take one at daytime, I guess. Yeah, we could do that right now, I, I suppose. Bang. Awesome. And that will be the final... Uh, little screenshot and that completes the tunnel of memories the hall of memories but someone did actually leave a suggestion that i kind of agree with look at that lovely that's so lovely god damn it's just nice yes look at that oh yeah memories the hall of memories okay i could actually improve and increase the hall of memories and just build pitch frames all around the inside of this room the moon pool i can keep building them in here and the hall of memories will lead into a room filled with memories that's a really cool and clever idea can't remember whoever said that but thank you for the idea i will be doing just that all right i'm gonna go ahead and just go hang out with my friends here my only friends hi guys hi i love you guys Thanks so much for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. I will see you next time for more Subnautica. Goodbye, guys.